right before we jump into this video did you know that i have about a thousand sponsors for this one video amazing make sure to click the link down below Jared Paul and Frono's photo. Com. And today we're gonna be talking about why Sony is better than Fuji and Nikon. Now beat it. Had to get you back, man. All right, you guys have asked me for my opinion on the Canon R5, and here it is. The Canon R5 is like the 5D Mark II of 2020. It's gonna set the new standard for camera specs with all the other brands now the canon r5 i'm not gonna lie to you guys it is as a, i've been a sony user for five years it's five years i have a little place in my heart for sony but the canon r5 in terms of it has three sony cameras built into one it has the resolution of an a7r3 it has the speed of an a9 obviously there's differences there but 20 frames per second of an a9 and it has top level video specs of the Sony a7S III, which is not even released yet. Who knows where that camera is, but it has top level specs that Sony can't compete with right now, but I'm sure they will be, but they don't. If they give you everything in one. You got the flippy side screen, which is perfect for me as a YouTube creator and videographer or whatever, because I do vlog like I am right now. You get the F1.2 glass that no one else offers. That 50 and the 85 1.2 RF are insanely good. And that right there is another reason that Canon is calling my name, but I'm trying to hold on and I'm trying to, I'm holding on because you know what's gonna happen? This is 2020, bro. Like Sony and Nikon are gonna be coming out with their heavy hitters as well. They're gonna be following Canon's footsteps. And what I'm hoping Sony does in the future coming up soon is that they have a camera that can do it all. And when I say do it all, the A7, the A7 III right now is my do it all camera, the best camera you can buy for $2,000. But I need a camera with a flippy screen that goes to the side. Fuji X-T4 nailed it, they, they, it's a really nice screen. And um, I need better video specs. 8-bit video just does is not cutting it in 2020. I'm pretty sure Sony's gonna up that, um, even make, make the body bigger. Sometimes you can be really thick. Who cares, like at this point, I want the top level video specs, I want the flippy screen and I want the, 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 the same photo specs that you have right now, just keep that. I need an all-in-one camera that I may sound spoiled right now, but with the R5, the R5 is gonna spoil a lot of people because it's gonna have everything in one body. That right there is super, super tempting, but one thing, a couple of things that Canon doesn't have, right? Number one is the community. Sony has community, you may not even know it if you're not a Sony user, but Sony has all these events that, that is community based and Sony, there's, a, there's just a, a, a community that Sony has that no one else has right now. And another one is the dynamic range of the files, of, of Sony files is something that I have grown to love. And even Nikon has the same kind of dynamic range. Canon has oh, that's always been their fatal flaw for me. That's why I left Canon a long time ago for Nikon. Bye, bye, bye. Bye, bye and left Canon again for Sony. A lot of the reasons has to do with the dynamic range of the files, but I'm pretty sure the new center is gonna have better dynamic range because when you're shooting in bad lighting, being able to recover those shadows is clutch. So anyways, that right there, my friends, that is my take on the Canon R5. And I'm holding on by a thin string with Sony. We're gonna see what they have coming up, but the Canon right now is, is killing it. Killing it, especially with those lenses. Anyways, that is my thoughts on the Canon R5. Let me know what you think of the Jared imperson impersonation. I didn't really do any homework on it. I just kind of, I had to give him some crap because he's always making fun of me not using the electronic viewfinder of my camera. So that's my payback. All right, everyone, uh, enjoy your um, time at home. I'm over here doing this right now. Probably gonna work out right now. This is my workout bench. We'll see what happens, all right? Uh, stay tuned for the next video. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.